Fair enough. Hi guys, welcome to middle workshop at Labnam. And you've asked the question, how strong is SwitchBot? And I'm about to answer this question. So, uh, say hello to Dimitri who is actually uh, holding the camera for me and assisting me. And uh, let's put the SwitchBot on. So what I've got in here is a force coach because we're going to make it properly scientific at all because strong enough isn't needed. So if you've never used one of these before, I don't know, I've never used one of these before. You plug it in, you press the power and I think you're ready to go. Because I'm not going to make any contraptions, I'm just going to hold that in place and use a piece of string to actually uh, restrict the movement of the bot. So let's do that. Now, I'm going to clamp it nice and steady, a little pressure in here, so it will be traveling without any problems. I almost misplaced this again. I actually found it in a filament box out of all places. I'll never look in there. Fortunately, in the Black Sail Friday, I got a couple of rolls of filament and I found this. So, let's get started. Now, that didn't go very far. Run button, probably. And off to the races. So we have 10 newtons uh, per second there. Uh, let me just uh, try to capture on the second camera as well. So it's about 10. Uh, can I make a continuous? I want to make a continuous movement. Like, oh, this is even better, I think. So let's uh, go back. Oh. Yeah, it goes up, up to a 10 newtons, I think. It's time for a silent mode, so uh, let's see if the silent mode is actually weaker. was 1.88 newtons. 3.8, that was the maximum I could read. So let's try it one more time. No. Okay, after careful uh, consideration, consultation and calculations, we came up with a figure of about one kilo, which is uh, in UK, a bag of sugar. So you can pull a bag of sugar with this. Uh, if you want to see whether your uh, blind's going to go or not, just uh, use a bag of sugar and you'll know. Simple as that.